or from taking part in any public activity if they have not been vaccinated. Nobody will be given this vaccine against their will, nor will the vaccine be administered in secret or in some dark corners. Any rumors to this effect are both false and dangerous, and we would like those who are spreading these rumors to stop. In what could be one of the most remarkable scientific achievements in Africa's modern history, South Africa has reportedly made a major breakthrough in the fight against HIV. Researchers at the University of KwaZulu-Natal have developed a potential treatment that appears to control the virus without the need for lifelong medication. We may be moving towards uh, an HIV cure where people can uh, live without antiretroviral therapy. As you know, at the moment, if somebody is living with HIV, they have to take antiretroviral therapy for the rest of their life. After two years of dedicated work, the team successfully completed Africa's first HIV cure trial, and the results have been described as groundbreaking. Early findings suggest that several participants have managed to remain healthy and virus-free for many months after stopping antiretroviral therapy. For a country that has carried one of the world's heaviest HIV burdens, this news has brought a sense of hope and pride unlike anything seen in years. President Cyril Ramaphosa has reportedly been brief on the research and is said to have expressed great admiration for the scientists leading the project. In a recent statement, he praised the University of KwaZulu-Natal for its leadership and said that this development shows what South African science can achieve when given proper support and investment. Ramaphosa called it a powerful example of African excellence and urged that such research must continue to receive government funding. He also said this breakthrough represents a new chapter in the country's long struggle against HIV and AIDS, a struggle that has affected almost every family in one way or another. To understand the way to this moment, it helps to remember South Africa's long and painful history with the HIV epidemic. In the late 1990s and early 2000s, the virus spread rapidly across the country and millions were infected. Access to treatment was limited and misinformation about HIV made the situation even worse. Entire communities were left in fear and the stigma surrounding the disease was devastating. But over the years, through the efforts of local scientists, activists, and international partners, South Africa built one of the world's largest and most successful HIV treatment programs. The rollout of antiretroviral therapy, or ARVs, saved millions of lives and gave people living with HIV a second chance at life. Still, ARVs are not a permanent solution. They must be taken daily, sometimes for decades, and they come with side effects, costs, and emotional strain. That's why a real cure, something that could allow people to live without daily medication, has always been the ultimate dream. The new findings from KwaZulu-Natal could be the first major step toward making that dream a reality. The study, led by Professor Thumbai Ndungyu and his team at the Africa Health Research Institute, focused on how to teach the immune system to control HIV on its own. The scientists studied a rare group of people known as elite controllers, individuals who despite being infected with HIV, naturally suppress the virus without medication. By studying their immune systems closely, researchers developed an experimental therapy aimed at replicating that same immune response in others. The results were astonishing. About 20% of trial participants who stopped taking their medication were able to keep the virus undetectable in their blood for over a year and a half. That means their bodies had learned to control the virus without drugs. Although this does not mean the virus was completely removed, it's a powerful sign that functional control, or what scientists call a functional cure, could be possible. This achievement was made entirely by African researchers working with African participants on African soil. That alone makes it historic. President Ramaphosa, during a recent health innovation event, noted that the fight against HIV has always been one of South Africa's greatest national challenges, and he praised the resilience of both scientists and communities who have kept pushing forward despite the odds. He also linked his breakthrough to his administration's broader health agenda, saying that South Africa must not only treat diseases, but also lead in discovering the cures. According to Ramaphosa, this success should serve as proof that investing in local science and technology yields real results that can change lives. He said the government will continue to support medical research that puts South Africa at the forefront of global innovation.
This moment is also symbolic of how far the country has come. Two decades ago, HIV was seen as a death sentence. Today, it is increasingly seen as a challenge science can overcome. But it's important to remember that the journey is far from over. Scientists caution that while these findings are promising, more testing is needed to confirm how consistent and lasting the results are. The study had a limited number of participants, and the virus could still return in some individuals after long periods. That's why further trials involving larger groups are already being planned. The hope is to eventually develop a therapy that can be rolled out to the public in the coming years if results remain stable. Beyond the scientific details, the social and emotional impact of this discovery is enormous. For millions living with HIV, daily medication can feel like a chain. The thought of one day being free from that constant routine brings deep emotional relief. It could also change how the world sees HIV, not as a lifelong condition, but as something that can be overcome. For young people, especially those born with the virus, this breakthrough represents hope for a normal future without the fear or shame that earlier generations faced. International reactions have been just as enthusiastic. Global health experts, including representatives from the World Health Organization, have praised the South African team for leading such groundbreaking work. They say this is a clear sign that Africa is not just participating in global research, but setting new standards for it. It also highlights the importance of supporting African research institutions so that they can continue solving problems that affect their own people. President Ramaphosa's remarks about this project also carried a strong national message. He said the success of the UK ZN scientists reflects the spirit of South Africa, a nation that refuses to give up even when faced with enormous challenges. He reminded citizens that this country has some of the world's brightest minds and that their work deserves to be celebrated just as much as any sport victory or cultural achievement. He added that this discovery must be a reminder that when South Africans invest in their own people, the results can change the world. Of course, with every breakthrough comes a question of access. Will ordinary South Africans be able to benefit from such treatments once they are fully developed? That will depend on how quickly the research moves into public trials and how much support receives from both the government and private donors. Ramaphosa's administration has already promised to expand research funding, but experts warn that sustained investment will be critical to move from laboratory success to real-world impact. This potential HIV cure is more than just a medical story. It's a story of hope, of resilience, and of African leadership in science. It shows that with enough determination and belief, even the biggest global challenges can be overcome. For now, scientists continue to monitor the trial participants and collect data that could guide the next phase of development. The world is watching closely, and the results so far suggest that the dream of ending HIV might no longer be just a dream, but something slowly becoming real. So, what do you think about this incredible development? Do you believe President Ramaphosa's vision for a scientifically self-reliant South Africa is finally taking shape? And could this be the turning point in the global battle against HIV? Share your thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to hear what you think. Don't forget to hit the like button if you found this inspiring. Subscribe to the channel for more in-depth updates on major South African stories. And turn on notifications so you never miss an important update.